all this area will be the kitchen. This is our boundary wall and at my back is totally jungle, look at it. Ok my friends, in order to propagate all these plants we need to cut them. Good morning everyone, Mabuhe Philippines, welcome back to our channel. Today is day two of our building of the outdoor kitchen here in our garden. Day one we have showed you we bought all the material for start the work and today the workers are here and we are going to start a major renovation here in our garden. They are already removing all the plants at the boundary over there. All the calatea will be removed, included the traveler palm, everything, everything you see here. And then we are going to start all the material are over here. We are going to start to make the flooring. We need to plaster the wall. We will put tire that wall in front of us. I'm going to show you what they will do today. I'm so excited because this is the start of a beautiful project. We need to remove also this traveler palm, this is a beautiful and expensive palm that goes up really tall. We need to be careful. Here we go. We make it. Our traveler palm is safe. Here we go, another one, this is huge. Look at there, we can start to see the wall. This is my big ass, it's heavy. We are saving all the plants, we are placing it there for now. We have already many. We don't waste anything. We will save them all and we'll expand and we'll propagate here around uh, our boundaries. There is an helicopter flying on top of our head right now. I ah, know, it's a plane. Look at that. While here we have also a plant of rambutan. We didn't even know, sometimes we spread plants all over the garden and this is growing. So we are going to save it and maybe in one year or two we start to have also fruits. I don't know how much the rambutan takes to make fruit, but are delicious, are like delicious. Nice. Ok my friends, in order to propagate all these plants we need to cut them. We need to save only the new leaves, but all the old ones we are going to remove it. So when we transplant it, it uh, will be easy for them to grow again. Let's start, there is a lot of work to do. This is the first. Look at that, there is a little bird drinking water.
here we go the last plant and uh, the work is done first step look at here the wall is totally empty now who does remember the wall like this empty with no plants only when we started to construct the house and the house uh, was newly finished was like this very good i'm so excited so my friend all this area will be the kitchen most likely we will arrive until here will be a huge kitchen uh, and we are going to show you later today how the perimeter exact will be because they will do exactly this today because after we we'll need to put all the gravel we need to put the pan and back leveling everything and while they are working inside i will work here outside this is our boundary wall and at my back is totally jungle look at here we're going to plant many calatea all over here and we're going to clean a bit the area look at the bamboo there this is becoming really thick jungle at the back of this there is also a, a little river like really small but there is source of water anyway let's start the work there is really a lot to do today okay we let them cut already some bamboo there at least will be more clean Ready. many calatea now let's continue on the other side of the wall i'm already super tired okay my friends lunch time we are going to eat here in the garden look at here it's so beautiful the table and then we can see all the wall there and soon all the kitchen will be there so nice look at here for lunch adobo with potatoes sarap come and tie Here we go back, my friends, it's now afternoon, the works are proceeding, look at here. We have now exposed the beans here, one, two and three, because we will need to extend the steel bar and we are going to create a wall here. Here we go, now they are starting to cut all the steel bar and we are going to extend this one. You see how much comfortable of course we are using our ab70 the bluetti power station uh, here in our house uh, because uh, we have actually two right now we have this uh, portable one uh, is a small one and uh, the big one that supply all the energy to the house uh, that is the ac300 and uh, of course uh, this is really comfortable because uh, we are uh, in the middle of the garden with no supply of energy but uh, they, with this one they can use also heavy duty stuff way better than taking an extension core, putting it here in the garden. If uh, the extension core is not too long, you need to work uh, near the house. It's way more complicated. Why with this, you just place your power bank anywhere you want and you have electricity. It's good also, of course, for brownouts. So if, uh, uh, example here in the Philippines is uh, always brownout uh, with this one, it's okay. It's not uh, a solution. Uh, that uh, will last forever because anyway it's uh, uh, supporting only 1000 watch hours so you can put uh, all the house connected to that one 
instead you need the ac300 the one big one that we are using right now but this one for burnouts and for momentary situation like for a two three hour this is a really perfect power bank that you can avail as you can see is a small box just a, a bit bigger than my hands here you can also charge the phone just putting it on top of here you have multiple ports here four ports for 220 you have also the two port usb c uh, two port usb and also here is the output for recharging it but you can charge this also uh, through solar panels uh, from the uh, car you can connect it to the car uh, we have also the adapter for that uh, through the uh, electricity to, from the socket of your house the 220 is a really good one i put also uh, in the description the promo code you can avail uh, the product in uh, their website bluetti save us always in all these kind of situation and look at that butterfly it's so beautiful so orange We are now moving all the sand from there because we are going to make the perimeter. Today we are in perfect time and the weather is in our favor. I'm so happy. In the meantime, I'm placing all the plants all over here. It's becoming really beautiful. Here we go, my friend. Look at this. Really beautiful. Today. We are in perfect time, we are getting in place. We are missing this, the two over here, and after we can put up the wall. It's now around five. I think we need to stop the work soon. And here we go, my friends, end of the day. The worker went home, this is it. We have finished for today. I'm really happy, there is the first spin. We need to put the other two, and then we will start to put uh, the hollow blocks and to plaster all the wall. Here we have also the line of the structure but this is too short three meter this one will take it at 3.5 but i'm really happy so amici it's everything for this video we will continue tomorrow with new updates thank you so much for watching us guys day two of our construction of the outdoor kitchen see you bye bye thank you so much for watching i'm really tired bye bye